I want you guys to start really analyzing things. Just, just, just do a little bit more critical thinking in all areas of your life. Just start breaking things down, start researching, start really thinking. What's up, everybody? Random Conversations, it's Meech. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. But today I wanted to talk about, um, is my phone on silent today? Let's get this phone out of the way. Nope, wasn't on silent. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about, I want you guys to think about this. Uh, this camera over here is totally useless today. That sucks, who's hitting me up? All right, focus. Focus. All right. No, seriously. Um, think about this. People, when we're overweight, I've been overweight, still a little bit overweight. You probably wouldn't know it by looking at me, but people that are overweight, <laughs> we just look at it as it's just what it is. You know, some people are fat, some people are, you know, whatever. All right. I want you to think about this. Have you ever thought about when someone is overweight, take someone that's obese or just generally overweight, your body is stretched out of its capacity. And I don't think a lot of us look at it like that. So the things that we're eating, the way we're eating, not exercising, just, just the way that we're living. We've been, you know, we, we've all been brought up to think that you know, just being fat is normal, fat is, is overweight. We know it's not healthy, most of us, some people just don't care. But have you really stopped and thought about what we're actually doing to our bodies physically, technically? We're stretching our bodies out of capacity. Um, of course, my fish, my fish always start going crazy when I start recording. I think they wanna be on camera. Yeah, I think they wanna be on camera. Definitely trying to get my attention. But anyway, I can't let the haters distract me. So think about this seriously. If look at somebody that's, 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 that's really overweight, not in a disrespectful way, but just really look at them. Their bodies are stretched out. And this is why when we, um, when we lose weight, when somebody who loses a lot of weight, they, they have all the excess skin because their skin can't bounce back. For the most part, we can fluctuate and out shit you kidding me you know what i'm gonna leave that on camera i'm gonna tell you guys what just happened and one of my lights was out <laughs> oh man so what just happened was, I got to fix this, but what just happened was I told you guys my fish was going crazy as soon as I started recording. Um, one of them splashed the water out of the tank. And as I was, I, when I looked and saw it, I started to say, I hope that water doesn't land in the power strip because it's going to short circuit. So I said, I sure it didn't happen. But as I'm sitting here talking, it started sizzling. I heard it sizzle. The damn fish actually knocked the water a little, they splashed a little bit of water, it landed in the power strip. That thing almost exploded. Um, I gotta fix this. <laughs> I gotta fix this. All right, but I told you guys, we're, we're gonna keep these videos live. We're gonna, um, let's hope I don't get electrocuted. Let me move, try to move this light over. Bear with me, people. I told you guys, these are random conversations. I told you I don't have an assistant. And I told you we're going to keep it raw. We're going to keep it unfiltered. We're going to keep it spontaneous. <laughs> this is some of the stuff that happens behind the scenes. And you guys never get to see it. All right. So I, I think we're back. I I'll worry about that stuff later. All right. So where was I? <laughs> so focus focus that's crazy all right so seriously think about we're stretching our bodies out of capacity it's not normal it's not right it's not if I, I feel like if you look at it from that perspective 
you might start looking at being overweight a little bit different. I think you might start looking at people who are around you who are overweight a little bit different. You might start to care a little bit more about their health and their well-being. I think we will start to not normalize it so much and start to realize that there's something wrong. It's a problem. I think it's just, you know, I think we'll, 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 some people will start to change their eating habits and just their, their overall ways. They, they Hopefully, people want to exercise a little bit more. So think about it. Um, a lot of times when we lose weight and we slim down, we, we say, oh, somebody looks so much better. They look healthier. You know, you're more attractive. And it's not necessarily that being slim is a sign of being attractive. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that because being slim isn't for everybody. But at the same time, being fat, being overweight, being obese isn't for any of us. It's, it's not right. Now, mind you, so we all have different frames. So everybody isn't built to be small and skinny. Every, some people are bigger. They have bigger frames. They, they, they are supposed to you know, carry more weight, carry more mass. But there's a difference between you know, carrying the proper amount of body weight and size for your frame versus being stretched out of capacity. So if you take anything, if you take a, a, a water balloon, if you take a, a plastic water bottle and you freeze it, you notice once the, 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 when, when a water bottle freezes, it starts to stretch. The molecules expand. We all know the science. I hope most of us know the science. I hope most of us paid attention in school. But the water starts to ex expand and it, it, it grows and it st actually stretches out the bottle. So anybody that's ever left water in a bottle too, in, in, in a freezer too long that was in a bottle, or even if you left it in a glass, what happens to the glass? The glass shatters. It breaks. That's because that the, the, obviously the water molecules expands when it's frozen and it, 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 it goes out of the capacity of the container that it's in. That's what we're doing to our bodies. You understand? And I, I, I just don't think any, I don't think many people has ever looked at it like that. Again, when you look at it like that, you also start to realize how much damage we're doing to our bodies. We're doing to our skin. We're doing to our internal organs. Think about that. Sometimes you see short people and they have a small frame, but they're kind of stocky and they're just like, they, some people go this way, sideways. Some people, you know, we, we all, everybody, their bodies grow differently. But when, and some people can hold the weight better than others. That's something that I really need to, need to um, touch on. I know we all know this, but some people can hold that weight better than others. When you see people with funny forms and funny shapes, that means their body really, really wasn't designed to hold that extra weight. So when you see people going this way, obviously they're fat, but look at it, like I said, a little bit different. Their skin is, is stretching, their body is expanding the wrong way. Their body isn't supposed to expand that way. And this is why, you know, we, 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 people look the way they do. It's, it's, it's totally unhealthy and it's, it's just a wrong mentality because a lot of us, we just accept it. We think, okay, well, this is just me or this just runs in my family, or, and, and to a degree, it does become genetic for some people, but a lot of, a lot of being overweight and, over, and, and being obese and just being overall unhealthy, and, and some people, you might have certain things that run in your family. So like, let's say you might have heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, you might have those things run in your family, and people will tell you, well, it's just genetics. You know, if you, if, if, if you come from this region, or if you're black, or if you're this, that, you're, you're just genetically, um, you know, predisposed to, to have these issues, that's actually not true. And, 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 and these are the things that's not being told to. You're actually being lied to for the most part because a lot of what happens is we, 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 we repeat these same things because if, if you have somebody in your family that has heart disease, it probably comes from their diet and lack of exercise. Now, chances are the other people in your family that have the same issue, you live the same exact lifestyle. So that means you're eating the same exact foods. Do you remember, I think it was, um, I don't remember if it was one of those Tyler Perry movies, it was, it was Big Mama, one of those movies where um, the, 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 like the grandmother, she died, or, or one, of the, one of the main characters died from a heart attack, and the first thing you know, everybody does after the funeral, they go back and eat. And it always struck me as odd because I said to myself, and it's funny because when I, you know, before that point, I never, it, it, it never clicked in my mind and realized it. But I said to myself, wait, this person died 
because of the lifestyle that they was living. The rest of the family, they have that same lifestyle. So you watch this person die from doing this particular thing. And then you turn around to celebrate and you do the same thing. So the same thing that's killing you and, 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 and you're passing the same thing down to your, to your, 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 your next you know, generations, the same thing that's killing you, you're, you're using it as a celebration tool, as a social tool, and you're just repeating that process, you're repeating that, cy that cycle. People that have high blood pressure and diabetes, it, it comes from the foods that you're eating for the most part. It comes from a lack of exercise, just an overall unhealthy lifestyle, unhealthy diet. And people just don't want to change it and they, they don't link it. So, like I said, I like personally, I know people that has had different issues and some people have gotten sick, some people have, have, you know, died and have all types of issues and I watch people repeat the same things. And some people, they, they even know that they're doing something wrong. They, they know what it is and they're just so stuck in their ways. They're like, well, I don't care. And, and that, again, is, is a form of, of, of sickness. It's a form, we've been conditioned to be sick, to think sick and to have sick sick ways and just it and that be normal and it's actually not so i'm saying all this to say i want you guys to just start looking at things a little bit differently i want you guys to start really analyzing things just 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 do a little bit more critical thinking in all areas of your life just start breaking things down start researching start really thinking um you know i, I say this all the time we all know the pharmaceutical industry is is not it's not in our best interest um and it's the same thing, like, it, it, it's just a lot of things that we've been taught. Like, we're taught in school to eat a certain way, to eat certain things, and those same things are harmful. The, the same, the, the, and some of the things that we used to eat maybe, let's say, 100 years ago, and people may not have been getting sick from it. These foods, a lot of these, these foods are altered. There's GMO. It's a lot of different stuff that's put in these foods. These foods are not the same. So you can't even look back and say, well, you know, my family has been eating these foods for hundreds of years, and... Okay, well, 100 years ago, they probably wasn't dying from it. But the last 50 years, they're dying from these foods. You know, again, people are overweight. They're sick. They're unhealthy. You have to start changing your lifestyle, but you have to start really looking at the things around you and the things that you're doing and pay attention to what's contributing to those things. So I throw these things out there not to get super deep, super technical and, and flood you with all types of technical information. I want you guys to just start thinking, just start observing differently, start just considering things and start doing the research on your own, start having conversation. I just want you guys to start looking at things a little bit differently and thinking. So I want to just leave it at there. I might pick this topic back up because I know I missed a couple of key things I wanted to touch on. But for the most part, I just want you guys to be aware of, of a lot of these things that I touched on in this video. And, and just think about it for yourself and, and, and see if anything starts to click and start making sense. And, and, and if it might start leading you to make some sort of changes in your life. And, and this is something that I also like to say to people. You have to always keep this in mind. You may be, you may say to yourself, well, I'm stuck in my ways. I just don't care. I've come this far. I've been doing what I'm doing. I, I, I might know it's harmful. I, I'm just stuck in my ways. I don't care. I'm not going to change. Well, if that's your personal, you know, decision, that's on you. But also I need you to think about the rest of the people around you. I need to think about how you're passing on these, these habits to your kids and, and just the younger generation. So they're going to, they're going to, you're not leading them in the right way if you don't take the time to at least, you know, think about these things and be serious and take your health into consideration because the people around you, whether it's adults, whether it's kids, whether it's friends or it's family, they, 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 whether you realize it or not, they're going to go by your lead. You know, they're going to look at the things you do. And if you're doing things bad, a lot of people will justify Okay, well, I see this person doing it, so it's okay because they're eating unhealthy. They've been unhealthy. They might have been overweight. They might have been dealing with a, a long-term sickness, but they're, they're, they're old. They're living. They're thriving. They're okay for the most part, so I can, I can do the same thing. It doesn't matter. They've been eating this for, for 50 years. They've been smoking. They've been drinking. They're still here. They might have a few issues, but they're good. You, you, we, we, again, this is why people start to think these things are just normal and that it's okay and then it's just what you're supposed to do we have to break that cycle and if you don't care for yourself care for the people around you care for the people that's coming after you 
care for all the younger people that's in your family or just that's around your circle because you're, you're inadvertently showing them that this is the way and it, it, and, and it might not be right. So think about that. It's also think about real quick, back to people that are overweight and over, o, obese. Think about when you see a family and you see the mother, the father, the, and the two kids, and they all have the same shape. The kids are young, but they have the same overweight shape that the, the, the parents do. And a lot of times I look at that and I say, something's really, really wrong because if the parents are overweight and, 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 and they are shaped a certain way, okay, they, they, they've been around a long time. These kids should not look the same way the parents do when these kids might be 10 years old. That is a sign right there that your, the, your, your eating habits, is there's something wrong. You're, you're passing those same habits on to your kids and they're picking it up earlier. So if, if, if I'm o o overweight and obese and my 10 year old looks the same way as me, he's, 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 he's going to be worse off than I am by the time he's my age because that, that cycle has started sooner. Just think about that. Just think about all these things. And let me know what you think. Um, let's talk about this for further this conversation in the comment section. Um, if you, you know, if you know somebody who these things may be relevant to and you think they might need to hear this, send them the video because sometimes talking to people, they ain't trying to hear you. <laughs> we all know that. So sometimes them seeing something or hearing something, it may spark something and then allow you to have a conversation later. So. Um, other than that, let's have this conversation. Let's further this conversation. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, feedback, experiences in the comment section. Until next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit the notification bell so you will be alerted the next time one of these videos or some of my other stuff pops up on the radar. Salute. Thanks for tuning in.